Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Town. Now I've made a little house for Opal and I know that this is not the look I'm going for in the end, but I wanted it to kind of look like a castle. And this is the best I could do with the limited funds she had from last episode. So we have some purple inside and also a little bit of yellow. I thought the purple and yellow were very nice. So she has a tiny kitchen, a bedroom with a single bed, and then the bathroom with the tub shower combo and a toilet. And of course the crystal tree, which is okay. We have crystals here. We need to harvest them before anybody else gets them. I do have a lot of gems here to sell and one bracelet. So we can get some more money. I only have 429 simoleons. Oh, Sarah gave me a Finchwick favor. Well, we got some milk and an egg and a lovely mushroom and a blueberry. Well, not stuff we really needed, but that's okay. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, look who it is. Hi, Bill. Don't go away. Okay, he always goes away when I'm trying to talk to him. Okay, he's right here, but he's asking us out on a date. Sure, we'll go out on a date with you, Bill. So we ordered a couple of strawberry nectars. I think that might get me flirty. I don't know. Oh, no, now it's awkward because somebody else is talking to us. Well, let's keep it friendly for now. There's just a little bit too much going on at this bar. Oh well, I mean, that's just the way the Sims are, is they sit across the room from each other and try to talk because there's not enough seats right next to each other. Oh, he likes basics decor. Okay, yes, strawberry nectar makes you flirty, but unfortunately she's too confident to be flirty. Well, that was a bad date. Well, I guess this is goodbye. Um, don't call me ever, okay? I thought that we had a nice time. I mean, true, we didn't get to talk to each other very much because there was too many people here, but come on, that's not my fault. Okay, we have a sewage leak, so we've called Cypress over to take care of it because I do not handle broken toilets. I can mop though. Although Cypress is in a way. Okay. Okay, because of the bad date, all of our romance went away. I've never seen that happen. I mean, we didn't really have that much romance, but come on. Well, we're not going to let him get away that easily. Okay, and now we're back up to a little bit of romantic interest. Kissing in the rain. Well, since it's storming outside, maybe we'll just have a little chat with Bill. Well, he's asking us to the Humor and Hijinx Festival. Let's go ahead and go. And since Opal is good, we're going to join the jokesters. And the fireworks have already started. Why is it an unpleasant conversation? Who is making it unpleasant? Now, the only problem about the jokesters is that they're actually risking death because they're going to be very playful. Oh no, she's hysterical. Okay, no, let's stop. Let's stop with that. No, <laughs> you are not going to die. Okay, we got rid of the playful buffs. Well, the jokesters won and you get a comedy mic. Okay, I've not joined the jokesters. Usually I join the pranksters because you get a voodoo doll. Okay, can you watch the fireworks? I'm watching the fireworks. But Opal is not doing it on her own. Unfortunately, you can't make them do that. All right, looks like you did not do your goal. You did not watch the fireworks. Well, we have a little bit of mental fog, so we're just making some candles. And now that we're out of wax, we might make some flower arrangements. Let's give some of our flower arrangements to Letitia. Do you like the flower arrangements? Maybe. Okay, yeah, she liked it. Okay, this is where we earn our money for basically the entire week. This one is 5,848 simoleons, and this one is 3,300 simoleons. 
Well, I take that back. It won't be for the entire week, but still, it is enough to get a starter home. So we currently have 13,611, plus the four or 5,000 Somalians invested in our current house. Um, why are you flirting with me in front of my love interest? That's not a good idea. Maybe you should leave. Anastasi is trying to flirt with me, and I don't want Bill to get jealous, because he is a jealous sim. I'm surprised he didn't do anything. Well, we have another ghost. This happens all the time. Unfortunately, if she doesn't go away, she continues to break things. And no, she's not going to go away. Well, Bill is asking us out on another date, despite the fact that he said not to call again. I guess he's calling us? Well, I am attempting to watch the season premiere, but unfortunately, I get interrupted or someone changes the channel every time. And Bill interrupted me when I was almost done watching it at home. Okay, finally we finished it. Okay, this time he had a good time. And now we have our first gnome. I wonder how much this is worth. Ooh, 1,237. Okay, it appears Opal is going to be a cat lover, which we are planning on adopting this cat grover anyway. But we have to make friends with him first. Well, unfortunately, he lost the stray tag, so I think I have to let him come over another time. Okay, we have adopted Grover. He's a cute little kitty. But look who came over. Bill Munch is over on Love Day. We've already completed the day, really, though. We didn't go on a date, but we don't need to in order to get credit for the holiday. Okay, we have a cursed book. I'm asking Letitia to go find it and hopefully deal with it, but I don't think she will. They never do. And, of course, it's in Opal's bedroom. Oh, Bill is thinking about getting a job. Sure, you should try a career. I don't know what career you're going to get. Maybe if he gets something decent, we'll let him keep that job. All right, Letitia, are you going to go get that book yet? Yeah, you can tell my cat not to scratch. Oh, she did get the book. Oh, and she destroys it. That's not good for her because then she has the curse. Oh, well, that's good for me. Yeah, don't praise the cat for scratching. I'm going to lecture my cat about scratching. And, of course, the cat doesn't get it. <laughs> All right, my mental fog is gone. So we should try to make some more gemstones. I don't think these trees are growing. It reset my one tree that was grown, but it wasn't magnificent anyway. Well, we're out of expensive gems, so what I might do next is use Ravishing's Bus Upon a Time mod in order to go to one of the lots, which is the Future Sim Labs, which allows you to get a whole bunch of collectibles. And you can find tons of crystals and metal at this lot. Well, I found my jet. Okay, I didn't need to actually have the crystal tree completely grown. Just evolving it while it was tiny counted towards my aspiration. So now we need to summon the Grim Reaper with jetstone or jewelry. And we need to cut a gemstone worth 2,500 simoleons. All right, hopefully we don't botch this. She is level 10 jewel crafting, so she shouldn't botch this. Or gemology, I should say, not jewel crafting. We have about 63,000 simoleons. That should be enough to build a house. But the question is, will it be enough to build a castle? Because I tend to go a little bit overboard with these tiny homes. And, you know, Cyprus wanted a little shack. And he was the first one, so he only got a very, very small house. Frank got a two-story house that was pretty cluttered. Opal is going to get a castle. So 
this should be interesting. Well, that gym was worth 2,500 simoleons. I just had her very focused and made her a gnome that can summon the Grim Reaper and it's 2,531 simoleons. Now we just have to charge it. And I think we might keep this purple gnome just because I need a lot of purple gnomes in her garden. That would be so cute. Oh, and we can already summon the Grim Reaper. We don't need to wait until it's fully charged. Well, it is the end of the second week. So Opal is actually going to finish her aspiration here because this is the last step that I have. And she's going to summon the Grim Reaper. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.